right. It's go time, Bucky. Okay, Bucky. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> and a bottle of Joe. Oh, it's eggnog. <laughs> wow, you really turn it on. You were you were silent as I set up my um, tripod stand, which is an empty trail mix container below a candle with my phone on top, and then behind it is a tinned popcorn and a container of loose leaf Earl Grey tea, and that's my tripod. And we're gonna hope that we're actually in frame this time, because for the yogurt video, we were not. But for eggnog, for the holidays, we're doing we it. it. We got it. Okay, so I went to um, Kroger, non-sponsored, but would love to be sponsored by Kroger. Hey, Skeeter, what are you doing? Skeet. Okay. And I got us three gorgeous varieties of eggnog. Um, we've got Promised Land Dairy, limited edition old fashioned eggnog. We've got CF Burger Creamery, colonial style custard nog. I don't know what colonial style means, but it's a holiday favorite. And then we got the regular old rich and creamy Kroger eggnog vanilla. So we're gonna try these and we're gonna test them out. Oh, we should have some Wawa. Here you go. So I like eggnog. You're not wild about it. I like eggnog. You do like it? You like eggnog with a little something, something in it though. I like, I just like it. Do you drink it cold or warm usually? Cold. Always cold. You like it cold? I do. Okay. What are we going first? Vanilla? What do you think? I think we should do the vanilla last. Okay. Because, yeah. Okay, let's, so let's start here. Okay, shake well. <clears throat> and I messed up and didn't get a non-dairy. I asked her to get a non-dairy. I couldn't find one in um, our hometown Kroger, but mom's Kroger might have had some. But that's okay, you know? We don't need it. We don't need it. We probably don't. But. Because I had Aldi's almond nog and it was gross. But I used it to make my oatmeal and it was good. Like that. So is that what I would have gotten? Something like something like that. Oh, and I, I put our glasses in the freezer. Okay. First of all, I like the packaging of this one the most, I think. I don't know. I kind of like this one. It's like Christmas, old Christmas vibe. Because it's colonial. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It smells good. Yeah. Just a little bit. You more than half. That's not even a taste. There you go. Put you a little bit more. I feel good. I'm using this. I'm going to make um, eggnog loaf with all the leftover. Okay. Okay. Texture, it's good. It's good. I don't really like the taste of it. You don't? Mm -hmm. I do. <laughs> she just down the hatch dip. Now we gotta rinse the glasses out. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, we do. It like um, what does it taste like? Eggnog. <laughs> wow, you're so right. No, it tastes like I don't know. It tastes like something. Yeah, you can wash mine out. It tastes like something specific. Um. It's ultra pasteurized to last longer unopened. It's like, it's okay. I would say don't get it, but mom likes it. I can't remember what the price of it was, but this one was definitely a pricier one. Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, I'd say. Um, I just know. Taste the Jersey cow difference. I, I can, it. I mean, or if I can, it's, I don't like it. You liked it? Okay. Um. It doesn't taste, I like when it has vanilla. That one was too, I don't, maybe I just don't know what eggnog tastes like. Should have put that in your glasses. No. Wait, do you know which one was mine and which yes. one? Yes. Okay. Okay. She got really intense. Make sure you scoot back towards me so you're in frame. 
I'm so scared. Oh Lord. Okay. This one's giving me, um, you're, you're in school, you're in school, you're about to have some milk, um, and you can't get it open. Yeah. St you're about to have some strawberry milk with the, with the chums at the lunch table. Yeah. And you paid 25 cents for it. <laughs> I noticed, okay, first of all, there's some Wawa left. Um, well, I said to when you get me. No, no, it's fine. Um, this one has a different color. This one's definitely whiter and looks it's custard, though. thinner. Custard is the same as egg. Custard is made from egg. Then why does that say custard? You know, that's all just says egg. I don't know. It's branding. Now, mm. I like that. Oh, that's what I imagine. Yeah. Okay, wait. That's good, though. Let me rinse them out, and I'll try to dump them to where they want. Well, you know what? It might just be because the the fifth ingredient is corn syrup. Maybe that's what's really Topping. getting me to like it. Oh, that is quite good. It almost tastes vanilla -y. Yeah. yeah. This one does not taste like vanilla at all. It tastes like... This one tastes like... um. Like amaretto or something, which I think is cherry and almond, whatever amaretto is, it tastes like this, but I can't tell you what amaretto is, so, um, you know but this is, this is good. You want to make paper calvies? No, it didn't. Okay, so, so far, number one, colonial style custard nog. It was, it wasn't as thick as this one. Do you yeah, agree? I agree. But it tasted much better. Yeah. I mean, I like them both, but that one was good. Okay. I saw me. No, you're fine. Okay. I accidentally just hit myself. <laughs> <coughs> wow, really Excuse zooming me. through this. Okay. This is the one that we're going to drink. We're going to make loaves from the, maybe, maybe this one will be our favorite. It is vanilla, so what is that? Oh, it's a vanilla. It's a vanilla. A vanilla. <laughs> Yay. Mmm. Mmm, it smells pretty good. Egg base. That's the fourth ingredient. Egg base. Mmm, egg base. It's an egg base, a fake egg. How do you fake an egg? No, it's, um... Egg yolk, sugar, guar gum, and carrageenan, which I know is Not good. seaweed. Oh. Carrageenan. I was thinking that orange thing or whatever. The carmine? Yeah. I don't think it's not good. It's just made from beetles. I don't think it's like not, not good. Um, I had to have a drink because I Okay, yeah. Oh, so you can definitely fake an egg. Vegans do it all the time. Open your horizons, mom. Okay. I like it more than this one, but not as much as this one. It's close to this one, but I like this one better. I agree. This one's thinner, yeah, and it has really... a weird taste at the end. Do you this agree? One, this one had a weird taste kind of aftertaste but this one this one's probably the best this one's so good but it because it almost tastes vanilla -y. Mm -hmm. no, no, it's weird this one it, does too but well it is the, supposed to be because the taste vanilla. is weird at the end and it's almost it's like you can even see it it's like milk milk consistency yeah all right I guess that's the end of this. So this one wins. Yeah, this one wins. For me, this is my number one. This is my number two. This is my number three. Um, and, and in the end, I think it's okay that we didn't get a non-dairy one because, quite frankly, I'm going to want my eggnog to be dairy. What is your rating? I mean... Probably the same, but I like this one because it 
tastes like, I guess, what eggnog's supposed to taste like, kind of. Did the other two not? No, this one was good. But I mean... <laughs> Wait! <laughs> what I'm I said, saying did the other is, ones taste like eggnog? And you go, no, this one was good. <laughs> this one was good, but I guess what I mean is, like, this one has, like, just like a regular eggnog flavor. These almost taste vanilla -y. You see what I'm Does saying? Does eggnog not have vanilla in it? Well, I don't have my glasses on, but it probably does. Does it? Why Why would you need your glasses? I can't read the ingredients. Oh. <laughs> it doesn't say. Well, it says natural flavor, though, so, like, we don't know what that means. But this one doesn't say vanilla either. But it does say non-fat dry milk, which I think does have a vanilla, like, essence like i think that might does this one say it has vanilla in it because it's supposed to be vanilla no but it says natural and artificial flavor which is probably the vanilla vibe but they're all three good actually you did good thank you this one does have the best texture i will say it is the thickest right i think do you agree yes i thought it was thicker than this one yes this one was the runniest mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. thank you I got, um, I think, every option they had. They didn't have Southern Comfort, which is actually the one we usually get because they have a vanilla one, and it's quite good. But this one, this might be better. I guess I good. Do. Okay, I guess we're colonial vibe. Daughters of the American Revolution. Yeah. We're whoop. Gilmore Girls. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. We're Gilmore Girls. We whoop, are, whoop. We are. I'll follow you anyway. I'll follow where you lead. I don't think we can we'll sing follow. <laughs> When you need me, I'll be there. That's really good. I is, know where is, I'm sorry, is the theme song playing? I'm sorry, is the theme song playing? <laughs> <laughs> that's All right. my go-to well yeah the other night i was ca i called mom and i could like hear voices in the background i'm like where are you what are you doing and she was like i'm watching you my girls it's my go-to show mm -hmm. for the noise for the noise wow cheryl she's just like us because i've seen it how many times <laughs> too many all right all right. Happy holidays. And happy holidays, every everybody. Ho, ho, ho. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Santa brings you lots of toys. Bye. <laughs>